So, rascals, let's get going. Let's get started on my lovely, little, teeny, cute baby dragons. <laughs> it makes me sick, actually, looking at these two. <laughs> this is as cute as I go, people. This is as cute as I go. And I've only done cute because I was silly enough to ask people what kind of stuff they want to see. And you evil, horrible lot said, oh, make something cute. Well, there you go. That's as cute as I get. And even this was, you know, I think I was sick twice. <laughs> I don't do cute. Um, right, let's leave him. Leave him there. Stay. Stay. Um, yeah. So here you go. Look, I'll show you this guy as well. I mean, he's probably the cutest. Oh, God, it's disgusting. <laughs> it is disgusting. Oh, stay. Oh, man. Right. So, we are going to get started on these guys. Um, and this will likely be the first and last cute thing you will see from me. Well, actually, tell all I know. There's one more cute thing um, that I have to make for my daughter's birthday. But it's it's kind of funny cute, so I don't mind that. This, you know, cute cute, I mind. Actually, I'm dressed in a flowery dress with glitter and my hair in curls. You just see, you can't see it. <laughs> a sight to behold. Me and my flowery pink dress. There you go. I won't show you because I don't think you're ready for that kind of uh, that kind of awesomeness yet. You'll just have to visualise it. You'll also have to excuse how manly I sound today. My uh, my hay fever has gone to another scale of crazy awesome. It has gone mental. So I sound like a man. My voice actually sounds like I'm breaking, <laughs> or it's breaking. Um, sniff, sniffle. Yeah, you will never find me sunbathing. I will be hiding in a corner in the shade or inside <laughs> where the pollen can't get me. Ah, dear me. Problems I have in my life. So, enough of my rambling. Because let's face it, I'll ramble all day. How do these guys start? Ooh, look. <laughs> Paul's tidying egg. You guessed it. You know, you have to ask yourself, if there's not Paul's tidying in it, did Kelly actually make it? <laughs> I did. So here we go. Start off like this. Now you could do it that way around. Fat, fat bottom. Um, but I preferred to do it that way around. Ta-da. So he's got a bigger kind of head. We can do a wider kind of kind of fish. So look, starts off like that. Who'da thunked it? So for those people that have seen the last few episodes, you'll know that I like to cover. You know, once we've got egg, cover it in the magical unicorn that is a cake duchess modelling paste. Let it to set hard. And when I'm sculpting and doing all these little kind of sculpty details, I like to do a mix of the both and do Cake Duchess Modeling Paste and the rather fantastical Life in Sugar. The chocolate bar, her modeling chocolate, is also a magical unicorn. I know lots of magical unicorn ladies and I love them. But no, Laura's, uh, Laura Doddy Mead. What should we call her? Let's just call her the Dodmeister. The Ickle Dodmeister, her modelling chocolate's awesome. It's probably the only modelling chocolate I can hold in my hands for more than, you know, five seconds and it doesn't disintegrate into a pool of yuckiness. <laughs> it's really cool stuff. You should give it a go if you've not done so already. And there's no nasty bits in it, so it's all awesome. So, staring at this 
little polystyrene egg with nothing on it. I know it must be super entertaining. So let's get going. Let's get going. Right. Polystyrene egg covered. Leave it to set for a little bit. This hasn't actually set as uh, set as hard as I I would like. But that's life. <laughs> There's lots of things that aren't as hard as I'd like. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Behave yourselves. So we are gonna start with marking out the eyes quickly. I don't know why I just wet that because I don't. I didn't mean to wet that yet. <laughs> I did it all back to front. Gosh darn it. But anyway, we'll, we'll mark them out. It'll likely change. But we'll mark it out anyway. And as you'll know, I've gone super cute because this is a little bit pink. I don't know if you can actually see that, but there's a, a tiny hint of pink. Because you know I'm all about the pink, people. Pink to make the boys wink and all that. I don't need pink to make boys wink. It just naturally happens. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I know, I'm talented. There's many. I'm an onion, people. I'm a lady onion of many talents. <laughs> just quite a lot of them people aren't ready to see. So, mark in the eyes if you want to do it a little bit early like I just did <laughs> and then we're gonna favorite shape sausage gonna take a wee sausage probably about yay big all sausages are different sizes so I'll let you guys choose how big you'd like it but don't make it too big you know there are limits <laughs> and we are gonna stick it down go and then we're going to push up the middle a little bit and see why I shouldn't have done the eyes yet because look what I did honestly this is why I need supervision I should not be allowed to do things unsupervised but no that's the way I like it actually it's better people aren't watching me <laughs> more fun. Right, oh, I'm just covering up what I'm doing there, so that's not good. But anyway, you're going to blend in here, blend in the sides. Don't worry if you don't, you know, blend it in properly, because we're going to paint these little bits. <clears throat> so, don't worry about it. If there's a little bit not blended in, who cares? You know, there's worse things going on in the world. <laughs> so do what you like. So, it's kind of getting the muzzle kind of shape. There we go. And remember, um, if it's not blending in or behaving itself, just get a little bit of water and make it blend in. <laughs> force it. If it doesn't behave, force it. And then take my Cake Duchess tool, my ball tool, and you're gonna round about here and there. This is gonna be its little cheeky chops. Rub that in a little bit. You're wanting a little bit of a of a ledge, but not too much. You could actually just put two eyes in there. There you go. Dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur. I'm not making a dinosaur. I'm <clears throat> making a dragon. Here we can put the eyes in just now, like. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're gonna just push this in a little bit. And then push it up a little bit. So you can see there, you're pushing it up, you're getting kind of the shape. So the two bits that you push in there, and just push with your finger or your trusty ball tool, 
whatever you like. There you go, look. Beautiful. Don't worry about underneath. We're going to fix that later. And then just squash it in. So you can make it as a kind of bigger smile as you like. Or you can make them miserable and angry, which is what I really want to do. <laughs> right, and then under here, my voice is going as well, people. This is just disastrous. This is a disaster. Right, so that bit's there. Just push that because you're wanting it to be, you see under here, this little lip bit there. Bottom lip. We can just look at that. Make sure you do sound effects when you're when you're doing that. That's what that was. <laughs> oh, sniff, sniff. I'm really trying not to actually sneeze. <laughs> I was gonna do some. Uh, I had some stuff to do yesterday. That required uh, video stuff. It never happened because I couldn't go two seconds without sneezing. It's not a good look, is it? Hi. <laughs> Come and do this awesome thing. Achoo! Not good. Not good at all. So there we go. Look at that. See how quick that was as well? People, it's super fast. So again, don't worry about under here, right? Ignore that bit. We're just focusing on this bit here. So do as you're told <laughs> and don't worry about underneath. But again, just take your ball tool and just make it, so this is almost like his little cheeks. There we go. in here and if you want a pointier kind of kind of muzzle look just pinch it just have a play with it play about till you're happy pinch under here look you'll get a better um, shape yeah just play about with it until you are super happy with it which only you can decide that there we go yeah, I like that one. Awesome. And then we're gonna give them little nostrils. Teeny, tiny nostrils. Then I take my other awesome cakey tool. Because that was a bit harsh, that one, actually. I don't want this one to be as harsh a line. We'll make this one. And you know, these are, um, you could easily, I mean, I've said these are baby dragons, but you could make them into baby dinosaurs as well. You can, uh, they would look really cute as little dinosaurs. They kinda, I mean, let's be honest, if I hadn't stuck funky teeth on them <laughs> and those kinda horns in those place, they could have well been, uh, baby dinosaurs. So, you decide. Dinosaur, dragon. Both would be cute. There we go. So, we're gonna stick the eyes on. This is why I was putting water there the first time. What a do ball. Stick my little eyes on. There we go. Feel free to sing along as you're doing things. <laughs> or not. Okay, cool. So, we are going to take a little break. You're going to see some magical things because I believe Paul and David are going to show you their modest dancing hobby that they've just taken up. It's a sight to behold, people. So, see you after the break.
Okay, welcome back. Now, I hope you like that. Modest dancing, who'd have thought it, eh? Oh, those boys are so talented. So, back to this guy. So, we've got eyebrows to do. So, sausages. Not too small. Just enough to kind of go around her ickle teeny face. Now, at this point, you could make them, you know, looking like she is not bothered about anything. You could make her look like, oh, I'm so sad. You could make her look raging. In fact, let's make her look raging. <laughs> yes, we want an annoyed dragon because these two, let's face it, they're, they're all right. They're happy enough. So this one, she's not. Because I've had enough cuteness for one week. Thank you very much. Ugh, I can barely look at those cute ones. <laughs> but it's, you know, when you're doing the eyebrows, and this is the same for anything, you know, you can take it from looking pretty normal to angry, sad, surprise, oh, um, just by adjusting how you do. You know, look, back to sad again. Now she's annoyed. So just have a play about with it. Do whatever you like. I am not the expression police. <laughs> but it does make your it does make your piece more interesting if it the face has got a bit of character to it. You don't want to have these boring high faces. <laughs> they are boring and we don't like them. So, just blend in here. Clink, clink. I just put a bit of water on my, on my tool. Sniff, sniff. I've not sneezed yet, people, so it's a good day so far. I just I've said that too early now. I see what I'm doing with my brush there. Do you see? Do you see? <laughs> Just smoothing out a little bit that lines that I did. In fact, we'll move, move that up a bit. Move that down a bit. I quite like doing that with my, my brushes. Just smooth it out, and you can still have a wee play about till you're, till you're happy with it. Cool. Now you're wanting tiny, tiny eye bags. And you don't have to, because I left this one, my little blue guy without, and I gave this one eye bags. So I'll leave that also up to you guys. But stick those on. Quite cute to have them. Little teeny ones. Mmm, she is not happy. <laughs> Here we go. Super angry. Voila. Da 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 da. Finished. But you guys have got more time to play about with the eyes because the eyes are super important, even on little cartoon baby dragon type dino sore things. <laughs> I've got the boss in my ear going, hurry up, move it, move it, move it. It's like a drill sergeant. I do not respond well to drill sergeantry. <laughs> Hence why I usually run over. Now, horns. You can have them here, 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 here. 
have them wherever you like. But we're going to put a little teeny, just a little bit, don't go too deep. Have a little bit on our nose. And I think we'll do one here. Just do a little bit so you're marking it. And then the other side. Oh, a bit deeper that one. There we go. Awesome. And then we will. Where is my. I'm losing everything today. Losing everything in my marbles. Russell Russell, nice sound. <laughs> right, so Cake Duchess, <whistles> modeling paste on its own. We're gonna make it into ta da, little ball. Favorite shape, well, second favorite shape. And then take the palm of your hand and just flatten the tip of it so you get something like that. Can you see that? I probably went like that, did I? Can you see that? <laughs> of course you can't. So you just want to make a little cone shape. A cone with a point. Pinch along the bottom so it's not surrounded. And then... Now that's wet. Is it wet? Oh no, the voice is going. Oh no. If it wasn't, it is now. <laughs> so you don't need anything else, you just need a little bit of water. Do you know what I've just realised this looks like? I've just realised it looks like that bloody spiral dragon thing, isn't it? Is there not a game for that? Is that a game? There we go, that's exactly who he looks like. Ugh. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it's happened. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Never mind. Never mind. If you want to make little spider of the dragons, there you go. <laughs> this is how it starts. So again, you're rolling that. Did I show you that? Sorry, let's do that. Oh, yep, that paste is just now gone. So, circle, your palms, point, ta-da, and then pinch, 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 all around so it goes a bit flat, there you go, horny. <laughs> this side's actually a little bit, not as big, hmm. that's cool though. That's cool, that's what I want. And then for our nose, we're just gonna look a teeny, teeny, tiny one. So, same kind of idea. Tiny, tiny ball. And then just take your, your pinky, or any finger, whatever finger you like. Just the end. Pinch. And then, Stick it on. Then just to give it a bit of a curve, just push your, just bend it around a little bit. Adjust the face. In fact, look, if you want this one to look a little bit more a little bit more identical to the other one. <laughs> Just pull it. There we go. Squash it down a bit. There we go, she's still annoyed. She's still angry. Now I'm gonna leave her to sit for a wee second. Stay there, woman. Um, we're gonna do this little bits on their on their head. So I'm gonna move you. See ya, orange guy. I'll put him there, look. 
you can still, ah, you can semi see them. Ooh. Now I've got this is my, I think it's alligate, is it alligator crocodile rolling pin? I cannot for the life of me remember where I got it. So I'm gonna try and find that out. <laughs> um, Cause yeah, I can't, I can't remember. I don't know. Right, but anyway, it's cool. And I'm pretty sure you can get loads of them. In fact, to ignore what I just did there. Oh me, it's not my day today. It's not my day today. So, got a little bit of your, either your sugar paste or your modeling paste, whatever. I would just use the stuff that I was using to sculpt the face, so you can use that too if you'd like. Now roll that out, so it's kind of thin. And then take this cool thing, watch this, dun 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 Ooh, magic. Pick it up if I haven't rolled it out too thin. There we go. You can see that. I hope you can see it. Hmm. Now, yeah, technically that is crocodile or alligator skin or some sort of reptile. <laughs> but I like to use it for this. And we're going to put it kind of down the middle of our face. So we're just going to cut a little triangle. I think, yeah, triangle's good, measure up a bit, yeah, about there. Now, I didn't put anything on there because it's still quite wet, but you just take a little bit of water and then you can just blend that in. Just so you don't see the the joins. Just take that to the back. Cut off. Cut it off even. And now we're going to we're gonna do rope whoa. Behave yourself. We're just gonna go round the horns. So just take a little bit, a little bit of fondant. It's not fondant, it's my sugar model and paste. And, and you don't want this bit to be perfect. So do as you're told and just use your tool and just rough it up. Cause you want this bit to kind of be lumpy. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And again, sausage. Oh, throw your tool about if you'd like. I wouldn't recommend it though, because these ones are heavy. Take your toe off. There you go, you're wanting it. Just like that. Cool. Voila. Perfect. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna move on to painting. It's going to be awesome. See you soon. I have three questions for you. Do you love all things cake? Do you want to learn from some of the world's best cake artists? Do you want to be part of our growing community of over 200,000 members? 
then get yourself over to cakeflix.com where we've got some amazing deals on right now. We offer a 365 day support plus the most amazing Q&A service. You can now view us on all the main streaming services. So what are you waiting for? Head over to cakeflix.com now and become part of the Cakeflix family. The joy of dogs. <laughs> the little rascals. So, let's kind of tinker around with his face. Her face, I keep calling it a he. Um, it's not, it's a boy one. So, take a little bit of brown. Not too much because we want the colour to be mainly kind of pink. But we take a little bit of like brown in the eyes. And then the mouth. Just darkens up a little bit. Lots of different shades and colours. It is awesome. Take a little bit. The horns. Leave this bit rough though, don't smooth this bit out. But you want to use the darker, <coughs> oops, a bit of pink. Darker at the bottom and then, you guessed it, dark at the bottom, light on the top. <laughs> Just take a bit of water on your brush. Smooth it out. Smooth it out for those who are non Scott and just wondered what on earth I just said. <laughs> there we go. See for these as well. And take your tool and just go around. You're just giving it a little more horny like. Just gonna push around just de gently though, because you don't want to. You gotta cut the thing in half. <laughs> but just enough so that. There's a little bit of texture there. Because I'm all about that. Voila. -ha. So, eyeballs. You know it. What's going to happen next? <laughs> My sugar press brush. Da -da -da -da. It's the teeny, 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 tiny one. It's the zero one. I'm just going to do a little circle. Hoo -hoo. Same here. Oh, now she's going to be cockeyed. Darn it. That's okay, we can fix it. I always do that. Does anyone else screw up one eye? You do an ace first eye, second one. Nah, not so much. But we can fix it, we can fix it. There we go. What are you looking at, a eh, punk? So start off with a solid kind of colour and take a little bit of water and start in the middle. You're just taking the colour away. We're just like push the colour out to the sides. So you're left with like a white, semi-white bit in the middle. So just keep doing that until you've kind of got the white that you're happy with. So 
you start in the middle and you're just taking the color away. Also be careful when you're doing this because sometimes the paintbrush can um, hold like some water in it. So when you go and put it down you think you've only got a little bit. And then a massive blob of water. Look, you can... There you go, just take it away. Because I just did that very same thing. And then you just go over it again. On the outline. Voila, fix never happened. Nobody saw it. All good. So there you go. Better kind of eye. Now with this brush as well, which is awesome for going underneath in this little bit, so that you can get right in. Get in there. Just a little bit. Because you want to have the ding. A little bit of pink. On the eyes. Not too much though. You just want to have a faded kind of colour. Don't get carried away. Or you can if you want. <laughs> Whatever you fancy. And then I'm going to take cocktail stick. And I'm just gonna it's probably I think the eyes are a little bit too wet for this, so this could be a disaster, but we're just going to give it a pupil. Woohoo! I think it is a bit too wet to be honest, but we'll go with it. I don't know why I've made that pupil bigger. See, there goes the curse of the eyes again. Everybody, I'll do. You guys obviously are going to take more time and do it more beautifully than that. There you go. Dusted. Now we're going to give it some teeth. Show me your teeth. This is a tinkery bit, but tiny ball. You can do this between your fingers, like you can tell. So, oh yeah, put it up here. Can you see that? <laughs> that get you're just gonna make a little little tooth and you're just gonna stick it on just tuck it under there and then push this up oh and then pull it off because you didn't wet it what a dough ball right so let's start again <laughs> Make your tooth wet it so it sticks. Honestly, just can't get the staff these days. There you go. Tooth. <laughs> so let's do that again without a mistake. We're going to make on this side. So, tiny little ball. Just put it to a point. Wet it. <laughs> and then, you can use your tool if you want. I say that and it doesn't work. Darn it. Told you, today's not my day, it's the hay fever's fault. Push it in. And then, adjust where you're wanting it. I think we'll have to make that the baby tooth at the front because like it's two different sizes. <laughs> tooth. Put it in. Flick it up. Cool. Make this one look shorter. That's another one. Teeny tiny. 
tiny teeth. Oh, so again, point, stick it in. There you go. Beautiful. Cool, eh? So, I take a little bit of white and you're just gonna roughly just paint that on there. So it's kind of, I don't know if the camera's picking that up actually, but it's like, an, it's like a really off kind of pinky color. I know, me using pink. What is going on? Now, also, we have got Fractal do these uh, rather awesome. Oh, you wouldn't believe the mess I just made there opening this. <laughs> but they're really cool um, shine dusts. Um, they show up really nicely. And that's what you can see on this bit here. I think this is slightly teeny tiny bit wet just now, but we will put some on. Oh man, I'm gonna be finding dust forever. <laughs> but it gives your, um, gives your dino a cool kind of, look at that, ooh la la. And Fractal have got loads of these, um, these colors that are, see I'm not girly, but I like glittery stuff. I do like it, shiny. There we go. That looks rather splendiferous. So again, you can just go around and add as much or as little as you like. But I'm gonna give this a little bit more of a white muzzle. I'll put that shine under here. Cool. Last little bit, I forgot the nostrils. How could I forget the nostrils? But just darken in here as well. Just think where the light's gonna hit stuff. That's what I do when I'm, you know. If you stare up somebody's nostrils, <laughs> you know, it's dark. It's dark in there. Cavern of darkness. So, make your nostrils the same when you're doing these guys. So there we go. Done. Now for the body. The body, the body, the body. Hi, my name's Paul Bradford and welcome to module two, sugar paste fondant techniques. So the first thing you learn on module two is all about the sugar paste fondants, the good things, the bad things, and what to look out for to create absolutely fantastic cakes. So then we're going to take you on to the next stage, and that's how to colour up your sugar paste stroke fondant. And then after that, I'm going to take you on to how to paint on sugar paste, how to create a beautiful little yellow daisy with some leaves. And then we're going to move on to how to make a sugar rose. Now sugar roses are the classic rose on any wedding cake, birthday cake, celebration cake. You're going to love how easy it is to make these beautiful roses. I'm then going to show you how to make very, very simple punch flowers and punched leaves before then we move on to the actual cake itself. And within the cake, I'm going to show you different techniques, how to make swags, how to make ruffles, how to do a fabric effect, and then to finish it off, I'm going to show you how to make a fabric bow. As you can see, module two is absolutely full of great techniques for any budding cake designer. So come on, let's get started. You see these guys, they've got an egg, but we're not gonna start off with the egg. We're gonna take the head off. I think we'll put you there just now, madam. So, this again is my favorite shape. Pulse diary egg. 
but I have cut the bottom off. I have stolen the bottom. And we're going to take a cocktail stick. Now, if you're into eating these things, I'm not here to judge, you carry on. I don't like eating them, <laughs> nor does anyone I know like eating them. So, if you're putting cocktail sticks in anything, cakes, toppers, whatever. I mean, these are not edible, obviously, because, you know, there's polystyrene under there. But if it's for a kid's cake, you know what kids are like. You know what some adults are like, to be honest. Um, <laughs> you know, just in case somebody wanted to pick one up and think it was all edible and take a bite, you know the rules. Tell them they're not edible. They've got pointy, stabby things in them. Do not eat to them. There you go. That's the lecture over. <laughs> so, a little bit of water on there. Nice pink water I've got now. Lovely. And we're going to put the head on. So, I'm going to put the head, like I've done with these guys, just slightly to the side because for no other reason than I like it. I think it looks more mischievous. Now, that looks well rubbish. <laughs> that doesn't look right. Don't worry, we're gonna fix it. You are gonna take some of your paste and you're gonna make a neck. So, quickest way to do this, sausage. And just like a scarf, you're putting it around like a wee scarf. Make sure you're blending it in. Where's my bullet? This one at Eddie's Tools. It's not called the bullet, but I think that's a cool name for it. Oh, sorry, I just poked that one in the face. So I'm going to refer to it as the bullet until she tells me otherwise. So we'll call it the bullet. So look what you're doing there. You're just putting it round so it's like a like a wee scarf and just pull this down. Just take a bit of water on your fingers and just pull down and blend it in. And at least because you cut the bottom off of the egg, it'll be able to sit better if you're putting this on a on a cake. You still have to secure it, make sure that it ain't gonna it ain't gonna fall over, but so there you go, look. Now it's gone from rubbish to, whoa, got a neck. Cool, I know. Oh, crash on my table. That was the universe telling me there, don't get cocky. <laughs> All right. So last little bit for this little madam. Is we need to make other egg. So, that is super simple. Super duper simple. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second. Put her there. In fact, we're gonna move you here, love. Move it. Get out the way. You are going to Sausage. Roll this out. Don't make it too thick, because that'll just look wrong. This is Eddie's um, covering paste that I've used. Which, if you haven't tried that, give that a go, because that is awesome too. She's just an awesome little rascal. It's quite sickening, actually. Stop being so awesome. Eddie. Now, that don't look like an egg. <laughs> Never fear. What are you going to do? You're just going to straighten this off. So, slice, slice. Roughly, do like a cracked kind of egg. 
We'll just be rough with that, don't be, be too neat. You got that kind of shape. Take a little bit of water. Bring our lady wifey back. You're just gonna, you do that. Cover it. Tuck it in at the bottom. So it's more like an egg shape. Cool. Blend a bit more in there. And then just take your fingers and just go round. So we just, you know, you can point some bits. You can take your, like you can pull some of the fondant paste. You know, just make it as rough or as pointy as you like. You could also with this, I'll show you in a second as well what I did with some other stuff. Because um, it was rather cool. I'm into, uh, you know, I, I don't use wafer paper a lot, but the last couple of times I've used it, I've quite liked it, and it's given some cool, cool effects. So there you go, look. Oh, oh, the egg. Now we're gonna on here. We're just going to take our knife and just do little triangles like you're opening an envelope. Don't worry if some of the, the pink paste comes away with it. That's okay, we don't mind. You're going to make a little teeny tiny tail. So, sausage, to a point. Do a little bit of water. Just squash it in. There we go. Um, you can pinch along the sides like a little and then take your tool, take the bullet, and just do that with it. Gives it a little bit more of a dragony tail. Or maybe you don't think it does, but I do. <laughs> Cause I did, you know, you got plain plain tails. Do you like? Put it to a little point. There you go. Voila. Awesome. And then we're gonna do some of the hands coming over here. So or this is this was easy, this bit. We're back to my favorite shape again. Sausages. <laughs> so take your little, little sausage. You're gonna point the end. Just like that. Oh, I keep doing that, sorry. <laughs> Start again. Sausage. And then point. Pull it to a point. There you go, and then you're gonna hold it here. You're just gonna pull it down. <laughs> you know where I'm going with this? <laughs> Behave yourselves. Push up. There you go. You have a wee claw. And stick it in. And you can tinker around with that yourself. There we go. So, sausage, point. Hold it there, put it down, pinch, 
claw. Let's do three. So, last one. Sausage. Point. You could add little claws individually if you wanted to. I don't have time for that. <laughs> Pull it down. Pinch. Up. Like claw. Rear. Claw, claw, claw. Oh. You see that? The tooth just fell off. There you go. Whoa. Little claw coming out. So again, you can do another three on that side if you wanted. You could just have the one. Did the two on those ones. Right, let's just do a real quick one. Real quick ones, quick ones. Yeah, just have them so they're they're coming out. She is coming out and she's raring to go and do some damage. There <laughs> we go. One, two, and then let's do another one because this is well boring watching me do this. And I actually think I need to hurry up because my voice is just well going to go. <laughs> oh no. I think the only person that would be happy that my voice is gone would be my husband. So he doesn't have to listen to my rubbish anymore. So there we go. Coming out the egg. And again with the egg, look, you can... Take your knife and just put in some marks for coming up here in cracks. And then for painting this guy, lady even, you're just going to do the same as you've done for the face. You're just going to darken, darken under here. Don't worry if you get it on the egg because we're going to, it's going to have some pink on it anyway. But yeah, don't be, don't be too rough, uh, don't be too neat. See, this is what happens when I do cute stuff. Oh, don't be too rough. <laughs> no, be rough, be so rough. So I'll just, a little bit of pink. You can see that. Trying not to get my big man hand in the way there. Okay, you guys, sick of hearing me say this, but you guys have got more time. I only have the allocated time that the boss gives me. There we go. Pretty. And then you're just you're just blending all the colours in. Just make sure that you're not having a solid kind of colour. It's good to have lots of different shades and some loads of shades and tones, man. And a lot of the time, I'm not wetting my brush a lot. I'm just usually doing kind of dry brush, really, for painting. Kind of works good. Tuck that in there. Oh, I've got a bit under there, look. Let's wipe that off. And his tooth, look, his tooth's gone. Stick, darn it. Well, that tooth's a lost cause. <laughs> that tooth is a lost cause. I used to go to the dentist. 
There, stuck back on, it never fell off. Shh, don't tell anyone. Tell no one. There we go. That'll take some of the pink off. You see that, like, just with a, a damp kind of brush. Some of the pink that you put on, just take it off so it's more kind of patchy. And take your little teeny tiny sugar press brush, because it's teeny, 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 tiny. And you're going to darken your crack that you just made. Because, you know, it needs to be darkened so it shows up. Or you can dust your crack. You do whatever takes your fancy on the day. <laughs> Behave yourselves. There it goes, you can see. Look. Oh, isn't that cute? Isn't she beautiful? Blech. Disgusting. Disgusting. Now, where's my funky dust? Fractal, you genius people, you. I'm going to attack. You see the shiny? Shiny, shiny. Now see, when you put powder onto wet paint, it kind of sticks in bits. And I like that. I likes it. So feel free to do that. I do like these little shiny... I do like these little shiny things. Shiny dusts. They are cool. Just the fingers. Come on, go, 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 go. Faster, faster. <laughs> She's done, 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 done. Where is my... Actually, I forgot to show you that. Oh, no. Ah, here it is. <laughs> See, in your egg as well. See, if you take your rolling pin and you just do that, you get the cool... You see that? That bit there. Just gives it a little bit of texture on the boring egg. There we go. We have. Let's lie them all down next to each other. Can you see I didn't paint the back of that one's head? <laughs> I don't have time for that either. Hold on. Let's move them. Let's move them all. So they're all together. My little babies. So there we go. Aren't they cute? Oh, after three people, one, two, three. Oh, they're so lovely. So there is baby dragon land. <laughs> Let's see if we can prop them up there. And I'm going to show you one more thing, super, super quick. There we go, look, fractal colours can support that one. <laughs> and you, fractal colours can support that one. Oh, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. So, this here, if you wanted to do some little cracked eggs next to it, that is wafer paper. And you do it like you would be doing, um, like paper mache. Um, you do it on little balloons, or I actually did it, I did these ones on polystyrene eggs. So you take your, you can see it better like that. I put some tricks on here first because if you don't, 
that's just going to stick to it. You're never going to get it off in one piece. It's going to be a disaster. Um, so yeah, you just wet till you're able to um, stick them down into... I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> you're wetting your wafer paper. And then you're going to leave it to dry. And once it's dry, take it out <laughs> and paint it. You can see it better on there. And then it sets really hard. You can paint it and it looks rather cool. And you can also do it on a bigger scale. I'm not painted the inside of that so you can see. This goes. But yeah, wafer paper, wet it till it's just, you know, not wafer paper anymore. Light paper mache, cover it over the top. And then what would be cool is you could actually, stay there, let's take this one. You could actually, if you wanted, you could have them in there. Obviously make your egg look a little bit more presentable than I did. There's just another little thing that you could do. So, there you go people. There is my baby dragons. Hope you liked it, hope you had fun. If you didn't, I can't do anything about it. Stroke not going to be rocking back and forth in a corner. <laughs> I'm only joking. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Um, yeah, there they are. There are our dragons. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So, guys, I'm off to try and save my voice. And I will see you next time. I love you. Bye.